key skills for Texas Hold'em. Jonathan, what do you think? Well, Joe, uh, a lot of people have this perception that you have to have an amazing set of math skills and you know be a calculus wizard to be good at poker. In fact, you can do just fine with a basic set of arithmetic skills and an acquiring psychological mind. Um, a lot of poker really is intellectual curiosity. If you want to learn, that will go a long ways. That's good stuff. I know that when I played, you know, and I was kind of new to the game, which I think is this segment, mm -hmm. I was that player. Now, maybe I never came close to your level and a lot of the pros that are on our site, but it did well for me for my level to where I was able to level up, you know, a few spots and do quite well because I was really into it and I was trying to, you know, push myself to move up and advance and find out from other players that are at the table maybe I could get friendly with and maybe pick their brain if they were willing to help me and occasionally people will keep their poker info to themselves and occasionally a guy kind of takes you on their swing and helps you out with some different things. Let's talk about as far as like key skills when you say the math. What would be some of the basic things that you think could be covered in this area that might be helpful for a beginner that they should know? Pot odds is a major concept that basic arithmetic will play into. You're going to need to learn how to do a few simple arithmetic problems on the fly very often. Uh, and it seems daunting at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's as simple as times tables. So <clears throat> there's some of the basics like you have a flush draw and what are the odds at the turn on the river with one, you know, two cards to come, stuff like that? Is that what you're talking about? Absolutely. That's a skill set that you need is to be able to calculate these odds. Should I chase this flush draw? Should I let it go and fold? And that'll help you determine the best course for your hand. Um, that combined with the psychology of understanding, should I be in this spot? Should I be playing against this opponent at this time in the tournament? All of that really plays in. Or even like a cash game too, I would imagine, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so I think what I'm hearing you say too, and now I might be making this mistake of taking this a little bit advanced because I know we want to keep this somewhat at the beginner level, but basically when you say, should I be playing this opponent or should I be chasing this flush draw, now we probably also get into a little bit of pot odds and implied odds, which might be a bit advanced, but that's stuff that will come into our site perhaps a little bit later. But I think this is good sound advice, Jonathan, for our beginning level uh, with key skills and attributes uh, for Texas Hold'em. So thank you so much, Jonathan. Absolutely.